Hello, and welcome to Rubyology, episode 34. Uh, if you remember from episode 33, we started a web server, build your own web server application. That was some uh, code provided by Sharish Manhadevan uh, from the Making Use of Ruby book. Um, and that code basically um, was, it served a static uh HTML string set. Um, basically, it, it looked for HTTP requests on localhost port 88, and whenever it saw a, uh, a new uh, session request, it basically would spin up a thread and call the routine process. And when you come into process, this waits to uh, get all the, the data. It outputs your uh, HTTP header content and then the hello world string. So if we um, watch this run, I'll run this again just for old time's sake. Spin that up. Okay, now we're running servit.ruby. Now if we come to Safari here, localhost port 888, refresh, you'll see how fast um, that just goes out and requests and prints the static text. Now I thought we would try something. Um, let me stop the server. I thought we'd try something just one more step uh, advanced uh, than where we're at, and that being that we we're just going to try reading a file, just a static file. Ruby has a really easy um, interface for um, reading and writing to files. So if we go ahead and um, I created uh, just a start of one called Chris.html. And if we go ahead and um, mock something up real quickly, um, I figure here we'll put um, my name is Chris Matthew. And if we wanted to go ahead and put maybe this in bold just to make this a little bit more interesting. Welcome to Rubyology. And we'll go ahead and um, put that in. How about underlines? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to save that to the same directory as uh, my servit. And if we go ahead here, all we're going to do, we're going to take out this static. Um, set of code here and we're going to put uh, basically Ruby has a, a routine called IO read lines so if we say uh, something like my file equals IO dot read lines that basically will fetch an entire document right off of your drive so we'll, we'll say we'll tell it it's chris.html uh, so that will basically load the contents of chris.html into my file and then instead of, we'll do as the same session dot puts but instead of the static line of code we're going to just tell it whatever's in uh, this variable here my file um, that really should be as simple as it as it needs to be let me save that and I'll run it And it looks like we're all running okay. So if we toggle into this, if I refresh this, we should get um, Chris.html loaded. Wow, was that fast. My name is Chris Matthew. Welcome to Rubyology. So basically, every time we hit refresh, we're not caching. We're going right back out to the same directory and loading Chris.html. So I think that gives you uh, one more step closer to, um, you know, <laughs> this is still a very simple web server application. I, I don't want to get your hopes up that uh, we're, we're, we're going to, we're replacing Mongrel or anything <laughs> like that. Um, I, I uh, do want to dabble a little bit with um, embedded Ruby. So what I, what I would like to do on, um, and I'm I'm still kind of looking at this myself, but um, 
I would like to put some Ruby syntax in here. You know, some of these, um, you know, something like, uh, not that, something like um, that inside of here. So we'll play with that on the, the next episode. Uh, give me a chance to get some embedded Ruby built in here. But um, nonetheless, I think you could see two lines of code, uh, what we're able to accomplish uh, going out and pulling um, some static uh, HTML from a file and, and serving it up in this uh, demo. I'll go ahead and post these two lines of code uh, in the um, the podcast text, so you'll be able to just copy them into your last um, project. So, until next time, keep on having fun with uh, Ruby, Rails, camping, everything else you're working on, and um, I look forward to the next episode. If you have any questions or ideas, you can reach me at chris at rubyology.com. See ya!